Hello, my name is Chris Anthony. Most people call me the straw hat farmer. What I want to talk to you today is about growing aquaponic strawberries in the NFT system. The NFT system stands for Nutrient Film Technique. Strawberries can go great in this system. If you choose not to use the towers, they will actually grow in the NFT. I've been doing it for years. have very little problems with it, but all strawberries do require a little bit of maintenance no matter what system you grow them in. Now today, today I'm in February, but as you can see with these beautiful strawberries, and they're just hanging full. But to get these strawberries, we have to do a little bit of maintenance. All of those are delicious too. Okay, you'll start to see some of your strawberries will actually become a lot smaller. And you'll start getting some of the effect of like this here. This strawberry will never produce anything. It's always going to be a tiny strawberry. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to do some maintenance to that to really bring it back to life. I know you're going to think this sounds a little foolish, but this is the only way that I have found that will really bring a strawberry back to life. Cut all the old growth off of it. Let some fresh sunlight come back into the flowers, to the blooms, and you'll start seeing some fresh, healthy strawberries. We're looking for strawberries, and to get good, healthy strawberries, we need to get sunlight in here. Let this new growth come out. Let new blooms come out and create new strawberries. We've even got some that's trying to grow in here already. See, we can, with a little bit of sunlight, that'll open right up and take off. I hope this really helps on the pruning process. Now I want to show you a couple of more things about strawberries and, and easy ways to take care of them. And I want to show you how to plant one in the NFT system and a couple of other tips. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to start your strawberry plants off in the NFT system. Now these strawberry plants here aren't the prettiest, but they were germinated from seeds. If you're curious how I do my strawberry seeds, I actually lay them in a wet, damp paper towel, and I put them in the freezer for overnight, give them a good freezing, and then I lay the paper towel in kind of a dark, cool place after they come out of the freezer. In a couple of days, you'll have seen the seed kind of germinate and open up, and then at that point, I moved into some good, healthy, soft, extremely soft potting soil. Now make sure it has good drainage, and that seed will actually take off and grow from there. And then in a few weeks, you'll have a nice little strawberry plant like this. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take that out of your starter cup. You're going to drop it down inside of a bucket of water. You're going to wet that potting soil up nice and wet so that you can access the roots. And once you access the roots, you'll just kind of massage it a little bit. Just kind of squeeze it around in your hand and massage it. Be gently with it, not too rough. Just kind of squeeze it a little bit. You're going to see that you're going to look, most of your soil is going to come right off. Got to shake it in the water a little bit. It'll come off some more. Now, we've got complete roots here. Then you'll take your grow media. You'll place the base of the strawberry right about the top of the cup. Now, what I'm using for grow media here is I use stone, which is I'm just in a part of the world that has a good, healthy stone for aquaponics. So I have that availability. All of you won't. A lot of you are going to have a lot of limestone or a very poor stone to be using in aquaponics. Okay, you don't want to fill it up with gravel because this is what I call a long-lived plant in aquaponics. And long-lived means that this plant could actually be in this cup for several years. It's not like lettuce where we've only got about three weeks in the cup and then we remove it and harvest the lettuce. 
This actual plant could be in this cup until it completely splits and breaks open this cup. So if you fill this completely full of grow media, it's going to immediately create problems within the first three or four months. I only put a few pieces of grow media around it, just enough to hold your plant nice and stable. Then you'll drop that into one of your holes. We don't really have an open hole here, but we'll find one. There's one way out here, but you can't see it. So we'll drop that inside of our hole, and then we're good to go. So there you have a, an easy way to plant your strawberries in the NFT system. Now I'm going to show you something next. It's one of the most important parts to making these strawberries really produce like this and having really healthy blooms. A lot of times what I find is when my strawberries are really small, my nutrients are low. And let me show you what's producing the nutrients for these strawberries. If you're going to grow good, healthy strawberries, you're going to get a good nutrient content. And this is our nutrient content right here. A nice, fat, healthy tilapia. Good sized fish, producing lots of good nutrients. Probably weighs about maybe two pounds. Producing a lot of good, steady waste. We feed most of our tilapia strictly duckweed and leftover vegetables inside the greenhouse. And we're actually allowed to eat a couple of times a day, so they're producing lots of waste. And then that waste is processed out and sent through our system to make those strawberries you saw earlier. Now, if you're going to have a system running strawberries, you want to make sure you either got a lot of fish or really big fish. This takes running about 20 of those fish, maybe 25. I'm really not sure we've been eating quite a bit this winter. But um, you're going to have to have either a lot of small fish or some really big fish to create enough nutrients to make your strawberries grow. Now, keep in mind something about these strawberries. My particular strawberries inside of my greenhouse, they don't do well in the heat of summer. About April to May, especially by May, they're pretty much done for the summer. They'll start coming back in in September. They kind of just sit there dormant for a couple of months. About September, if I keep them pruned back, the strawberries will start coming back on again. I'll see those blooms coming. Strawberries will start opening up. And then from about September all the way up until about May, I get lots of healthy strawberries as long as I keep them pruned, keep my nutrient content up, and take good care of them. Now, for those summer months, I still keep a soil bed outside of my greenhouse. I cover it with straw for the winter, and it pretty much will come in about May when my greenhouse strawberries are kind of slowing down. My, my soil bed strawberries will come in outside, and they'll run through May, June, July, August. They'll produce quite a few through the summer, and then I'll pick back up in the greenhouse through the winter. I hope this really helps you keep strawberries going in your aquaponics greenhouse. Again, my name is Chris Anthony. Most people just call me the straw hat farmer. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on the web. In fact, check out my website. I've got some other help videos and some good information on there to help you live a more sustainable lifestyle. That's www.growdinner.com. Thanks again. I'll see you on my next video.